All right, welcome back. Here we go. We're going to get back us back into this court cases. Um, I will be having the link to this video that we're looking at in the description and go and subscribe to this person's channel. Um, so this one is in Judge Manning's court uh, in Atlanta. And this is a uh, tenant seeks TPO against her landlord. So this should end up being interesting. It always is when it comes down to these types of cases. So let's get right into it. That um, my landlord has been engaging in behavior that is harassing, emotionally distressing and intimidating in nature, in addition to stalking behavior. This is a landlord tenant dispute. There's nothing alleged in the petition nor anything she alleged to you today that warrants a protective order for stalking. I've... In today's video, we have a TPO hearing between a tenant and her landlord. The plaintiff is seeking a TPO against her landlord claiming he is stalking her. Is this a case of a landlord performing regular landlord duties? Or is this a case of stalking? Let's see what the judge has to say. So, uh... so first of all, I hope that this, the, this woman starts speaking up a little louder because this she uh, is mumbling through this. So let's keep going. Uh, it's Leonard and uh, Jeffrey Brown. Yes, Judge, I'm here. All right. There you are. Are there any witnesses? I do not have any witnesses, Judge. I don't have any witnesses. Uh, I didn't. Okay. Have... If you both raise your right hands. Yeah, I swear for testimony you're about to give this petition for TPO is the truth, hold truth, nothing but the truth. Miss Leonard? I do. Ms. Le Mr. Brown? I do. All right. All right, Miss Leonard, start with the most recent event and work backwards. I don't want to hear anything that anybody else said. It's not here. Okay. Um, let me grab my information here. Um, <clears throat> the problem that I've been having uh, with Mr. Brown is he's engaging and harassing and emotionally distressing. And it's like Judge Manning is having the same problem I'm having hearing this woman. Look at her trying to creep her ear toward the the sound. Intimidating. Um, yeah, to, like look up or speak up because I can't. Can you hear me better now? Yes, thank you. Um, so I, I wrote out a statement to uh, help me out here. Um, the problem is that um, my landlord has been engaging in behavior that is harassing, emotionally distressing, and intimidating in nature, in addition to stalking behavior. Um, a couple of weeks ago, was sitting in the parking lot to the apartment complex, and he was just watching me. And then he moved his vehicle over to the side, uh, closer to where my entrance is, and again, he was just sitting there. It didn't appear that he had any reason to be there on the property. He was just sitting there watching me. That was not the first time that Mr. Brown has engaged in that type of behavior. Also, at one point, um, it was about 6.30 on a Saturday. I had no advanced um, communication from Mr. Brown. I was cleaning uh, in the house. And I had to have the windows open because my air conditioning was not working and he refused to fix it. And I heard him screaming my name outside. So I walked away from the window. I mean, this is my bedroom window. And this man is standing outside screaming for me with, with no good reason. Didn't knock on the door, didn't call, didn't text, um, just standing outside of my window again watching me. So at this point, this woman is claiming that this, that her landlord is uh creeping her um uh, I'm, I'm curious to hear what he has to say so i walked away from the window um i had a guest that was staying with me the guest uh he spoke with my guest through the window and he said that he was there to look at the stove with regard to the stove your honor it had been leaking gas over a month before that i had to have atlanta gas light come out i don't, I don't want to hear about landlord tenant stuff about repairs and stuff like that. This isn't landlord tenant. Right. I understand. I'm just getting to the point of what's been going on. So mysteriously, things have started not working in the apartment. 
Uh, Mr. Brown has sent me several uh, text messages and emails uh, stating things like, I would, uh, the CDC moratorium would be over soon. I would hate to have to put your things on the street. Um, I filed this against you. He said, he told me that he filed a motion against me. I called the court. It had not been filed. Uh, all of this behavior is just extremely intimidating. It's to the point now where if Mr. Brown makes a, an, an appointment to come here to do any repairs, I always have someone on Zoom with me or I have someone here in the apartment with me. I do not feel comfortable around him. I do not have off the, top, um, the, off the record conversations with him. His behavior has been escalating. Um, he'll make appointments to come here for repairs and he shows up with no tools um, and nothing to make repairs. It's like he's making these appointments to come in and surveil what's going on in my apartment is extremely uncomfortable i realize that there is you know a, a monetary issue here okay I, I totally absolutely recognize that but that does not give mr brown the right to engage in this stalking intimidating and harassing behavior if if he weren't my landlord and he was someone else on the street this would not be acceptable i've had to call the police twice and when I do contact the police, basically, I feel like I'm being brushed off. And again, because. Well, you're being brushed off, ma'am, because he is the landlord and he is at his property um, checking on his property. Uh, that's why you're getting brushed off. Plain and simple. Because his behavior seems to be in, you know, becoming increasingly aggressive. I seriously fear for my safety and I, I don't want to be around him. I don't want to be alone with him. Okay, go ahead, Mr. Brown. Yeah, yes, Judge. So this is a landlord tenant dispute. There's nothing alleged in the petition nor anything she alleged to you today that warrants a protective order for stalking. I have not engaged in any behavior that violates the statute or any way trying to intimidate her or putting her in a reasonable fear that she should be in harm for herself. The only communication I have with Ms. Leonard is simply relating to landlord tenant issues. I can go down a whole laundry list of code enforcement complaints she's filed against me. My only contact with her is relating to trying to address issues. Um, so I'm surprised that this a temporary protective order was even granted because there's nothing in there that even alleges any threatening communications that would warrant a TPL. So I would just ask the court to deny her petition for a temporary protective order or permanent protective order because I've not done anything to harass or, or harm her or put her in any kind of reasonable fear. She should have safety for herself. I'm merely engaging in landlord tenant responsibilities, Judge. Your Honor, I would like to counteract that statement. He sounded to me like uh, he was, uh, 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 he came really good with, with his response and he's right. Uh, you know, everything I've heard so far is that he comes to the property that his is and he checks on the stuff that needs to be worked on. And uh, sounds to me like when he was, she, she said he was um, outside her window is because she didn't not come to the door. Uh, so he tried to get in contact with her. Another, so sounds sounds pretty legit to me. When I filed this petition, I included the emails, the text messages. I have video of him sitting there surveilling me. I have audio of him. You haven't, you haven't presented. You have evidence of something you want to present other than your testimony. I mean, nothing. No evidence has been presented except for your testimony. I provided it when I filed for the order. This hearing. is the evidentiary hearing. Okay, so would you like me to? I do have the text messages and the email. This is the evidentiary hearing. So would you like me to read the text messages? Ma'am, this is the evidentiary hearing. I'm trying to understand. What, what is there to understand? This is when you present your evidence. This is exactly, I mean, what the, I mean, how many times she got to say it? This is the hearing where you present your evidence. Okay. And so. It's 
And Judge, I'll just add one more thing. She said that I was looking at her. Only time I come to the properties and meet contractors or repair people. Uh, so that time she made me talk about I was there, I wasn't looking at her. I'm sitting in my truck waiting for somebody to come to do repairs on the building. And then I think she also made an allegation about me yelling at her through a window. She had filed a code enforcement complaint about a leaking gas stove. I knocked on the door for about five minutes. No one came to the door. I walked around to the side. I saw her in her unit. I think she was vacuuming. And I just yelled her name to get her attention. She could let me in the door. I didn't yell anything about her trying to harm her or harass her. It was simply trying to address issues in the apartment. Okay. I'm pulling up the text messages, Your Honor. Just one moment here. Um, the last text message, because I had a file for the TPO and I was not sure whether or not he had been um, served yet. Uh, again, good afternoon, denying entry into the unit after receiving advance notice is a violation of the lease agreement. I am on the property and need to access the unit to repair a hole in the bathroom vanity. Please let me know if you object to me accessing the unit. Your Honor, that was the third time that he had said that he would access the unit. I was not at home, and due to his behavior, I didn't feel comfortable with him being here. Um, let me get this right. So she's complaining because the landlord is trying to get in contact with her to fix something in the unit. Wow. Um, this woman is starting to sound a little nuts. He says uh, there was one that says that his text is uh, calling me to access the inspect the drains and fill any uh, gaps around the pipes. He said it would be here between 12 and 2. My daughter and her husband and their children were here uh, when he came for that. Mr. Brown again came with no tools, no professionals, no um, no items to fix the hole, and the hole is still there. Um, I'll go back here to the. Okay, this is another one saying good afternoon per lease agreement. This message serves as notice that I will enter the apartment tomorrow between five and eight to replace gas stove, inspect unit for water leak, and check smoke detectors. Also, I will need access to windows to measure for screens. You do not need to be present as I have a key to the unit. Thanks for your cooperation. Again, my daughter was here when he came. Mr. Brown did replace the stove that had. Now, hold up. So now, now this lady is really showing her craziness. What stalker <clears throat> makes an appointment to stalk you? And she just admitted that he came, he came to the house and did what he said he was doing. He replaced the stove. He, he which from an understanding was a part of what you were talking about the leaky gas problem had not been working for over six weeks he told me i had to replace it. and at that time he did not measure for windows he did not check for leaks there was a leak under the bathroom sink that he has not repaired and again this is not the first time that he said that he was coming in to do these things but he did not um The other one, uh, this was on the fourth, on the 24th of July, which was a Saturday and it was after 6.30 p.m. I just stopped by to check the stove. I observed you through an open window, you ignored me. I also spoke with individual residing in the apartment, so making the assumption that someone was residing here and informed him that I need to check the stove. I waited outside and no one came to the door after approximately 10 minutes. I do not feel safe entering apartment or sending one to enter apartment until you have vacated the premises. Please let me know your move out date. Most of his um, messages end with those types of statements. On that day, your honor, he did not knock on my door. He did not call me. He did not text me. He has several ways to- What is she talking about? She literally just read a text message where he said he was coming. This is nuts. Be able to contact me 
Not to mention those hours for him to be there were completely inappropriate. I sent my friend outside to speak with um, Mr. Brown because I didn't want to have contact with him and offered him entry to the apartment so that he could check the stove. Now you're coming to check a stove that you told me I had to have a certified check technician to service. To the best of my knowledge, Mr. Brown is not a certified plumber or you know gas technician. So again, these are all means of trying to intimidate and pressure me into situations that make me feel uncomfortable. Um, reasons to try to push me out of the apartment uh, because I am under the CDC moratorium. And, you know, it just, it really needs to stop. For me, your honor, um, he knows that I suffer from mental disorders. It is having a So how, do, how does he know you suffer from mental disorders? I'm so sick of everybody having a mental disorder. It's, just, it's, it's out of control. Anytime someone nowadays gets in some type of situation where they're having to be held accountable for something, they're unable to be held accountable because of their mental disorder. We, it, it, at this point, everybody in America has a mental disorder. Profound impact on my depression, my anxiety, knowing that he has a key to my unit and he could come in at any time. Um, I have a recording of the last time he was here. Uh, he asked me a question about the bathroom. I answered it and he looked at me and told me to be respectful. I've never been disrespectful to Mr. Brown. I always address him as Mr. Brown in all of my emails and texts. Um, I do not yell, I do not curse, and I have as little contact with him um, as humanly possible. Uh, in like regard to him coming in for the stove. Good afternoon. I never heard back from you on whether you contacted the appliance repair technician to have the stove repaired at my expense. Also, have you contacted a licensed HVAC company about the AC repair? Let me know. Are you still living in the unit? Do you have an expected move out date yet? Thanks. Again, still under the CDC moratorium, he knows that I'm here. So it, it's just repetitive, Your Honor. The, it's He's using email <coughs> and text to harass me in every way that he can. He sent me an email that said, I don't believe the CDC moratorium is going to be extended past uh, June 30th. Um, so I need to know your expected move out date. Um, I would hate to have to put your things on the street. And this is constant. So that's her evidence. <clears throat> that's her evidence. <clears throat> that her landlord is trying to do landlord shit. Makes a lot of sense. Mr. Brown. You know, I would just say that what she's describing is just landlord tenant contacts. They do not meet the definition of the statute for stalking. I am in no way, shape, or form stalking her. And I ask you just to deny her petition, Judge. All right. Last words, Ms. Brown, Ms. Leonard. You're on mute. I'm sorry. The peering at me through my window and uh, sitting there watching me on the property, uh, to the best of my knowledge, do meet the statute for stalking and the behavior that he has partaken in in terms of the um, the excessive text and emails is harassment. All right. So, um, ma'am, he is the landlord. He's got a legal reason to be there. Exactly. And if he has a reasonable reason to... Ma'am, this is not landlord-tenant court. He has a legal reason to be there. He's the owner of the property. If you're complaining and filing uh, complaints and want him to fix stuff, he's got to come there. And he's constantly... So, I'm sorry. I'm going to deny this, Mr. Brown. If your email is in the chat, we'll email you a copy of the denial. Thank you. Like I said, with the holiday weekend, make sure you keep it on you. Um, for a week or two to make sure it comes off of GCIC. Ms. Leonard, I'll so I don't know what you thought about that, but to me, from what I observed, is that this woman is nuts. That she's just trying her. It sounds to me like she has been asked to vacate the property, but yet, and she's trying to find a way to have to 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 stay at the property, 
and claim that this man is harassing her when it's pretty obvious that he's not. It, I mean, she had no evidence proving that this man is trying to stalk her or anything. She had some text messages that literally said he's trying to set up appointments to come and fix her house. It makes no sense. This is this is one of the problems with our society today is that that nobody wants to be you know accountable for the, for anything and just trying to destroy people's lives uh, to so that they can they can be stupid and and manipulate people to so that they don't have to be accountable for the things that they should be accountable for. So I thought this woman was extremely crazy. The uh, landlord sounded to me like he was, you know, right on point with everything he said. Uh, and I do like the way that he didn't over talk or, or, or try to put out too much, just put out exactly the truth that, you know, was there doing landlord stuff. And there's nothing that shows that he was being harassing. So that's the end of the video. And I appreciate you watching. If you want to see more of these, let me know. Till next time, see ya.